Hi, this is Dick Tusky, founder of the Serious Writers Guild all those years ago and the owner of makehits.co.uk and makehits.com. And this is the sixth day in our series of Four Minutes on the Network Deck. What have I got for you this week? Well, let me tell you. I want to do a sort of a special this week because I get such a lot of fantastic questions from members of the Serious Writers Guild. But one in particular this week that really struck me was from Nikki. And she's got a meeting with EMI Records here in the UK. And she sent me an email. Now, let's go through this email. And this is going to be fantastic information about how the record industry works. First of all, got to put on the glasses. Which reminds me, hmm, Optical Express. I spent £2,000 on laser treatment for my eyes. On the television they say you get back, you're supposed to get back 2020 vision. <laughs> Don't you believe it? Look, I gotta wear glasses for reading. So, Nikki said to me, I'm preparing to submit my work to EMI. Uh, CD, photographs, biog charts, fan status, etc. And I said to her immediately, the two most important items are the photo, the photos, in other words, the visuals and the fan base, the number in the fan base. That's the two points they'd be more interested in because it's 80% visual, 20% music. Despite what anybody says, your pals down the pub say, in the clubs that you meet and all that, and people that are smelling around looking for success. This is from somebody who's been there, done that, and I'm still doing it all the time. And then she said, this is a song I will be using to try and get their interest. And I immediately said to her, Nikki, that is the most important point. This is purely an exercise to get their interest. Because the days when you just walk into the office of a record company and they'd immediately give you a contract and take it to stardom and have you appearing at Wembley next week at the Hollywood Bowl. Those days are well gone. It tends to be more a gradual process now. They will want to meet you, like you, most of all, like you, and then take you to success. She says, I have the full sounding demo but should I add a couple of my simple home demos to this CD to show variety? And I said immediately, no. The meeting will be won or lost in the first 10 seconds. And that, by the way, is the first 10 seconds of when you walk into the room. They will either like you, the look of you, the style, the way you carry yourself, the way you talk. And then they listen to the CD. And if they like the first 10 seconds of that, that cements the whole thing together. So it's all this 10 second thing, but most of all, it's the 10 second of the visual, the impact when you walk into the room. Should I reference them to my websites that currently have the simple home demos on? And I said, record companies today and People in the music industry, generally speaking, despite again what the magazines say and your pals down the pub say and in the clubs and, and at the recording places and all that, the, the rehearsal studios, despite what, despite what they all say, the music industry is running at a thousand miles a second. That's a good way to look at it. So they just haven't got the time to click on links that probably don't work or they're a bit iffy, or they can get viruses, all that stuff. They just can't be bothered. Again, the magazines give you that impression that it's all to do with YouTube and all that. Mm, very, very seldom. So I would suggest forget about all the links and all that stuff. Should I mention to them that I reached number 21 and the UK Reverb Nation charts with just my home demos? and. I said to her, well, listen, that's just going to be part of the general conversation. If you're a good conversationalist 
And if they're impressed with the first 10 seconds of seeing you, and then the first 10 seconds of the CD, then possibly you'll get on to that. I haven't put my full sound demo up on website yet, my new photographs. Uh, should I do that? Is it wise? Should I put them on my website? And I said, mm, just put a sample, a sample of the CD, a sample of the music, because if you give stuff away free, the only thing you get from free is more free. Trust me on that. True story. If you do shows for free, do gigs for free, the only thing you'll get out of a free gig is another free gig. And I'm sure if you have tried that in the past, you'll absolutely agree with me. So a sample is best. Do record labels such as EMI do artist development deals? And I said, mm, no. Not really. I think those days are gone. And they certainly will not give you money. That's for sure. They'll have at least 20 or 30 fantastic, fully fledged, not even demos. They're radio ready records. They'll have 20 or 30 a day with a band from heaven, styled, choreographed, rehearsed to death. And they'd be playing gigs, they'd be playing junior shows, they'd be playing junior discos, they'd be playing, you know those police gigs, uh, the sort of discos that the police run for drug awareness, all those sort of gigs they'd be playing already and getting huge crowds. So that's what I said about, about uh, the artist development deals. They just, you'd have to be pretty special to get that going. The guy who helped me make the full demo would be ideal to work with for the rest of the songs, but it did cost me a lot of money. And I said to her, that statement really worries me because realistically speaking, hit producers are not interested in a thousand pounds, a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars to do your demo. They're not interested in that. They're interested in a percentage of the mechanical royalties. That's what they're into, the sales of the CD or the downloads. That's what they're interested in. So anybody who asks you, and remember this, anybody who asks you for money for producing a track, oh, I'd be very, very, very wary. I have never charged anybody in my life for producing a track. But I will ask for expenses, uh, hotel expenses, train expenses, planes whatever went over to Rome a few months ago now, I'll ask for that sort of money but not for for uh, uh, any money up front if they ask you for money up front it's very interesting to realize this if they ask for money up front it means they don't have the belief that the track will make money in the future think about that what else did she say if they're interested and want to hear more full de demos, would they fund that? And I say usually yes, but they would want full involvement in what you're doing. They, in other words, they won't just hand over money and, uh, and get you to produce the stuff or your producer to produce the stuff. They'll want somebody from EMI or whatever involved in the total production. They only think of one thing I say here. Can they make shed loads of money out of this? And that is the bottom line. Then she goes on about the publishing royalties. Uh, I've got, she, she's started her own publishing company with uh, my manual, how to make a publishing company. Start your own publishing company for less than a hundred pounds. That's one of our biggest sellers worldwide. And she started her own publishing company. And now she's worried that if she goes in and says that she's got her own publishing company, that they might get worried. But I say to her immediately, I say, no, 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 no. The negotiations for the, 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 the publishing are way, way down the line. And by the way, I said to her, they will want to negotiate about having a percentage of your live gigging and also a, quite a healthy percentage of your merchandising. Very important to understand that stuff. But I said to her, you know, are you ready for that first 10 seconds? Can you speak? Can you talk? You know, have you got good conversation skills? 
and I said to her be very aware that I always advise my people and anybody who I talk to to get involved with Toastmasters International now that's toastmasters.org I'll put the link on the screen and just go there and click on the left hand side and you'll find find a club and go along there it's non-profit making I've said this before in my four minutes with deck non-profit making but go along to meetings there are two meetings a month usually and they're only oh, 90 minutes two hours or whatever and you will learn to speak properly because at some stage of the game you're going to want to go into a meeting and you want to want to stun them with your voice you know how you speak how you communicate and then when you go to do interviews on radio and television you've got to know how to talk you have gotta know how to speak so it's very 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 important so there we are that's really the ball game and I say to her at the end I say you are on the way but it all starts with that first 10 seconds and I say to her Nikki are you really ready for that I talk about one of my guys you know hugely successful at the moment he's probably one of the biggest hip-hop producers in London and he it's been 10 years now he's been working at it I've been mentoring him and all of this is the stuff that I've given him and I'm giving it to you but if you want to really get serious do what Nicky did get involved with the Serious Writers Guild and now the gags I wanted to lose a little bit of weight recently so I went to the doctor and the doc said yeah I can put you on a regime that lose you a bit of weight tell you what just stick to this diet give me a diet two days on the diet then skip a day and two days on the diet skip a day he said in two weeks you should have lost about five pounds come back and see me after two weeks I went back to see him I said Doc it's incredible I've lost 20 pounds he said was it difficult I said well not really the dieting was pretty easy but the skipping for a day well, that was pretty tough <laughs> I laugh even thinking about it myself. But there we go. This is Dick Klosky, founder of the Serious Writers Guild and the boss of makeits.com and makeits.co.uk. So, see you next time. Maybe in a week or so. Okay, see you then. Bye. Let's get it started. Ha! Let's get it started here. Yeah. Let's get it started. Ha! Let's get it started here. Yeah.